Hello everybody and welcome to the Daily Review, episode number 180 for Sunday, July 26th, 2009. What is going on, people of YouTube? Um, I'm back. I had a humongous break, I just realized, um, from reviewing films. And I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and make excuses like I've been some crazy busy guy, because I haven't really been that crazy busy lately. Um, I've just been a little lazy uh, posting these reviews. I've seen probably four films, I believe. Um, and I guess I'll let you guys know what they are going to be. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing Bad Education. Um, I'm going to also be reviewing two Ingmar Bergman films that I just saw. One is The Seventh Seal, which I just picked up on Criterion. Um, and if you guys have a Barnes & Noble near you, they're having a sale on Criterion DVDs uh, half off. So it's a pretty good deal. Also, the film Hour of the Wolf, which is another Ingmar Bergman film. And I'm also going to be reviewing um, Hannah and Her Sisters, which is a Woody Allen film. Sure, some other stuff to come. I'm, I think I'm going to be seeing the film Hump Day on Monday, so look out for that. Uh, but the film I'm going to be reviewing for you guys today is the Pedro Almodovar film Bad Education. Uh, this film stars Gail Garcia Bernal and Philippe Martinez. Sorry. I always forget to do that. Um, and I'm not going to re-record this, so anywho, you're stuck with that little noise. Um, Bad Education is basically about uh, Gail Garcia Bernal's character comes to his friend named er Enrique and has a story that he wrote. And uh, within that story, they show you what he wrote. It's a difficult plot to explain, but it's basically about how when he was uh, younger, uh, at a Catholic church, he was abused um, sexually and uh, he's kind of, he blackmails the priest in the film. Um, this is all within his story, but what the man is reading really happened, so he's kind of taken aback by it, and then he's remembering his own thoughts. So kind of, it's kind of like a, a film on top of a film on top of a story. There's about three or four different things going on at different points in this film. And if it sounds confusing, that's because it's very intricate and uh, I couldn't sit here and explain it to you in one sentence. Um, Bad Education is a pretty masterfully told film, I think. Um, I think just the structure of it alone is a lot to take in um, because uh, Almo Duvar does this thing that I think is, is pretty genius when he's transitioning from the real life to the story that Enrique is reading. Um, the, the frame on the side kind of comes in just a little tiny bit, and it's almost not even noticeable. I didn't even notice it actually until probably halfway through the film. Um, but it's a nice little hint at the audience to let you know, like, this is the story and this is real life. Um, and there's, there's a lot of moments in the film, too, where real life overlaps with story, and you're kind of wondering what is really going, like, is this the reality, or is this just the story, is this the film? Um, it also gets to the point where, where uh, this is minor spoilers, but it's not really anything, um, where Enrique decides to adapt uh, this story that Gail Garcia Bernal's character, um, Angel, or Juan, whoever you want to call him, or um, there's some other name that starts with a Z that I can't remember, uh, that he wrote. And so they're showing you the film within the film about the story, all very intricate stuff. Um, but the film is pretty heartbreaking. Uh, it's it's NC-17, which I don't want that to uh, sway any viewers the wrong way because I watched this film and I saw Bruno probably two days before I saw this and I was like, Bruno's rated R, but this gets an NC-17. MPAA, you still make no sense to me. Um, there's like one sex scene that I think is why it's NC-17, but it's really not that explicit at all. So if you've seen Bruno, you can handle this. Trust me. Um, but it, it's pretty heartbreaking stuff. There's a lot of emotions going on throughout the film, and I don't really want to ruin it for anybody, but a lot of really well-done stuff. Also, the directing by Alamo Devar is just top-notch. Um, he uses this brilliant image of colors just from the first scene. It's just like reds and purples and yellows and oranges. It's just everywhere. Stunningly beautiful. Um, my only problem, I guess, with the film is that this is just more of a personal thing, and, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there who don't feel the same way I do, um, is that I felt a little bit of a lack of a connection to the people that are going on. Um, 
I never really felt thoroughly emotionally invested in this film. A lot of a lot of times people compare this movie to another film that I really like a lot, which is Mysterious Skin. And the difference to me is Mysterious Skin, I feel such an emotional impact of that film at the end. Um, and this one, I don't really feel that impact um, that I think it's trying to go for. I don't know if it's just because it's a foreign film because it's doing that, but I'd like to think it's not because I've seen plenty of foreign movies where I feel the emotional impact. Um, but all that little uh, nitpick aside, I think Bad Education is a really great film and you really owe it to yourself to check it out. I don't think I liked it nearly as much as Talk to Her, which is the only other Almodovar film I've seen. I know, I really need to get into his work, but uh, I give Bad Education a very strong 4 out of 5. Um, I highly recommend you guys check it out if you uh, are interested in Almodovar's work, because it's really uh, quite, quite good stuff. Uh, anyway, thank you guys very much, and I'll be back tomorrow with another one for you.